All right, uh, good morning, everyone. It's day four of week five and uh, stand up time. So we are going to be starting right away. Like uh, those who are late, we catch us up on the way. But yes, let's go through our routine stand up. How are you doing? Just bec before we go through everything, how are you doing? One word, one word to describe how you are doing today in the chat box. One word, like let's be quick with it. Tell us, how are you doing? We are approaching the end of the week. Okay, Grace said, okay. I'm so happy to hear that, Chris. How about others? How are you doing today? It's week three, sorry, week five and day three. Ahmed said it's not bad. Ahmed, I'm happy it's not bad. Yeah, Henok said today is Wednesday. Yes, today is Wednesday, Henok. <laughs> you forgot the days already. Oh gosh. Great, all right, great. Okay, I'm so happy that, to hear that uh, we are okay and that we are progressing well so let's get started now officially we are going to be talking about um you know how was yesterday with your group and any other individual tasks you, you worked on and also uh you tell us um did you face any blocker any challenges yet that you would like us to discuss about now we have the technical tutors with us and they are going to be, of course, we are going to be helping each other, but also um, the technical tutors will be jumping in just to clarify everything. So yeah, let's get started. Who are the sharp people to go first? You can raise your hands. You can raise your hands. The queue is still empty. Of course, Ahmed, always the first. That's super amazing. Let's have more people in the queue. Enoch, that's super as well. Let's have more people on the queue, more people. Okay, that's super, that's super. Let's see some ladies' hands up as well. Okay, so as we're waiting for more people to join the queue, let's get started with Ahmed. Ahmed, good morning. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. Uh, yesterday, we, uh, yesterday, we have our first meeting, and uh, it was uh, for an hour. Uh, we have a better understanding for project now. And we divided the task between us. Uh, it's, uh, uh, we can say it's for starting the project. We, we will do another meeting uh, after we have access to the server to see how the task should be divided again. So that's all for now. Uh, uh, we also uh, started this scrubbing uh, website and we made a, a Google Sheet to organize this. He scribed, uh, scribed uh, a website. He put the link and uh, uh, the status uh, of this, uh, uh, the status of this link is he uh, processing now in the scrub, uh, is in the scrubbing process or already scrubbed or not started yet. So. Uh, anyone else can scrub this uh, website. So it's kind of uh, organization. So we can, uh, don't waste time scrubbing the same websites. So that's all. Okay, super amazing. Thanks for sharing a detailed report. That's a very good one. I, um, yeah, so did you face any blocker, any challenge that you would like to raise now? 
or is everything okay for now? Uh, for me, uh, I don't have any, but uh, one of my team, uh, I think he has uh, a problem with, uh, with cropping Telegram's uh, channels. Uh, so if you can't get uh, uh, access, you can't get access to, to the channel, I think. He can't get access to the channel? Did I get your word? Yeah, uh, it's kind of API's errors, but uh, I'm not sure about it. Emtina, do you think you can help? Um, uh, yeah, okay, okay. what channel are you not able to access? Sorry. Uh, sorry, it's uh, it's not me, so I'm not uh, have full understanding about zero. It's uh, one of my team. Yeah, what are you trying to? You are trying to scrape something. Uh, um, I'm not sure. Like, uh, if without more details, maybe you can, like, can post uh, the problem on Slack. No. He, he has posted it on the chat's channel. Okay. Uh, let me take a look. Yeah, it gets you in uh, the message in the. Books. Uh, and Tina, any anything, any help? Uh, sorry, I was lost. Um, um, uh, did, did, are you following what um, uh, Rahmat, like the steps that Rahmat showed you? Is it? Uh, I mean, how, how are you trying to do that? Because I don't see any, like, um, you haven't posted any screenshot of the error you're facing. So um, I'm not sure. What is the issue exactly? Um, so, like, uh, how how are you trying to access it? Not you can hear me. Can you hear me? Seems not. Ah, yeah. Okay. You can yes, hear me. Can hear you. All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, unless, like, uh, we, like. Give us more details about the error you're facing and um, like what are the steps you're trying to follow. But um, yeah, so that you can help. All right, uh, everybody, you heard that. Uh, you can post it like in details on Slack with all the process you're trying to follow so that they can help you more. Okay. That's great. Okay, uh, let's move forward to Yabez. Yabez, good morning. Good morning, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah, so uh, yesterday we were able to have a uh, two meeting group and we are able to discuss on the project and also we were able to divide tasks, uh, so that's, uh, that was great. Uh, we had a difficulty on the AWS part. I think uh, all of my teammates were able to provide the, to generate a SSH key and fill out the form and send it, but we don't know uh, the next step, how we can access the instance and how can we use it. Uh, if it's possible, if someone could share us or show us a demo on that, that would be great. That is the challenge we are facing. Yeah, so uh, this was not, yeah. it was not shared with, with you yet, like how to access the, uh, like I'm asking generally, no one have, have accessed their instance yet? 
like uh, yeah can you can you like uh, not yet can you give me uh i don't know what people are saying like um some subs these are people who who managed to or ha haven't managed not yet so people are saying they haven't managed it yet on uh, okay um okay i will ask um Nat Nile to give us like more uh update on like the status of the instances and to like to maybe give you uh like it's probably going to be provided as like um, a guide but um, maybe you can also show show you like a short uh, um demo or how to how to do this um so yeah we, we'll do this like uh, right after so yeah sorry for the convenience but just like be a little bit patient um okay and sorry anything else Samuel? Uh, no, no, nothing oh, from sorry, my side. Um, yeah. No, nothing from my side. Thank you very much. For the okay. Help. okay. All right. Uh, over to you, Shamil. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, uh, yesterday was uh, uh, like we had a team meeting. So, that was a good part like our wins like we managed to uh, divide up the tasks uh, having a rather long meeting as to how and how we better allocate those resources so uh, i think we had a, a good share of uh, resources on that uh, on uh, team part I think almost half of the team uh, is not actually responding. Only the only like out of six people, only three are currently active. So, including me. So, that is something about the team update. So, we actually got started on the project. I uh, I don't know if it is possible that they can join. It would actually uh maybe it would lag the team uh, so there is also submission trying to get understand i need i i i want some updates on that uh and for the <coughs> apologies for the uh, updates on the other parts so i think we have managed to uh scrape data like uh collect data on the basis of, for example, on a news platform, on the basis of like, it was easier. For example, we have actually seen that uh, social media such as Telegram, Facebook, or would be hard. Plus there is, there is an API restriction. So we thought it would be a great way to start from the news because it's easier public plus, uh, there is no API rate limit, so we we are plan we plan to start from there. So I think somehow we have managed to script some data, and we are designing the schemas to actually for a cleaning and pre-processing step. I we are on those steps, so we will have the team meetings today, and I think that's it from my side. All right, uh, this amazing Shamil. Uh, but to confirm again, did you mention any challenge or anything you want us to talk about? Yeah, like how we should go about the teams. So my my take on the teams is like we are making progress. So if the teams are onboarded, like today or today would not wouldn't be a, a bad thing but tomorrow after we progress it would be difficult to assimilate the team members since we have progressed it might uh, i fear that it might stall us trying to onboard those teams 
I'm not sure I understand your question about teams. And Tina, do you get it? Is uh, it uh, not really. Um, can I say again, uh, Abu Bak? What, what is the uh, situation? Let, let, let me interfere here. Uh, all right, sorry, all just, right. I mean, I think what he's saying is clear. It's like there are three people that are in the team that are active, and then the other three are not active or the other numbers. And, and of course, yes, if they are not joining early, then trying to assimilate them into the team, into the workflow will be difficult for them. And I think that's going to be the case for everyone. And I would say, I think that's a fair point. And what I would suggest is those people who are not active, they form their own group if they want to. Um, and it's on their own expense, right? So you can actually like, then you can send the the names um, to at least Nathaniel and others. And then we remove from the team and then just create a new team. If they want to work, they will work, they will work on their own. All of those that are not active, you can actually, yeah, instead of assume they are not in that group. Okay, thank you for it's that. A, it's fair just uh, to wait for a while, but not really indefinitely. So I think every team, you can adopt that same strategy, you can assume whoever is active is your like the members so even if they i mean if they explain their reason and if you accept them it's fine but if they are not reaching out or if they don't respond it's not your role more than just a couple of times i mean it's definitely good to be kind but not so at the you know the expense of your work so i would say mm -hmm. you can assume that they are not and then in the google document so Nathaniel and the tutors, please just make sure that those group members that, that those group members that are connected, you form just a new group. So if they come back to work, they you know they work in that group um, in the new group. Sure. Thanks for sharing that, Shabi. Uh, this is just to everyone, everyone here. So if you have people who are not active in your group, let's communicate it like even right after this stand up. If they haven't been um, reaching out to you, telling you why they are not active, then inbox uh, Nathaniel like, as quick as possible before it's too late. Then uh, that way, he will be able to take action and create them their own group moving forward. Okay, yeah, just a, a small correction that can you box me instead of that now? Yeah, because like um, uh, I'm going to be doing this rearranging the groups. Ah, uh, okay, thank you so much for the yeah. clarification. Okay, you heard it correct. Uh, then it's Oops. not inboxing Nathaniel, instead, inbox empty now. Yeah. Okay. yeah, inbox empty now. Okay. That's super great. Uh, then let's move forward. Let's have more people raising hands. Tell us what's the progress in your team and also any blocker or challenge you're facing right now. All right, Sheila. Um, hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, okay. Uh, so for me, um, our team, my team, my group members were okay. Um, we, I was, we were able to connect like most of us. So five of us were able to connect. It's only one person who wasn't able to be with us. And um, we planned ourselves actively, and we, yeah, we planned our tasks and we assigned tasks. And we're going. We had our first meeting yesterday, and we're going to have another meeting um, today. We scheduled one for today, and we're hoping to make progress from there. We've created our, our GitHub repo um, for collaboration, and uh, we're hoping to progress from them. Uh, so I had a question. I wanted to know if there's anyone who um, has created their SSH keys and they're using Windows, because like I, I, I wasn't sure whether I should use the Ubuntu in my virtual box, and I'm not sure in my system. So I decided to like just generate the SSH key using Windows. So I wanted to know, like, the, there's someone who's done that for Windows. Um, did you use Open SSH or um, did you use um, Putty? P U 
double T Y. Yeah, and uh, if you succeeded, could you please help me? Yeah, so that I can figure out which, because I'm already late. I don't want to waste time on blockers on that. Thank you. Sure, anyone? Anyone? Shamil, Michael, you want to hop? Uh, yeah, but let's, uh, I think Rah Rahmet I, uh, sent a really good resource, uh, YouTube link. It works on both machines. The, the thing is on Windows, you can use PowerShell to run those commands and it will work just fine. Okay, thank you. Um, and I was, okay. Okay, thank you. I wanted to ask um, if I still, I'm still using Windows, but I have um, Ubuntu like um, installed in my virtual box. Can I opt to use Ubuntu or I just use Windows for the moment? So um, maybe yeah. this will, okay. yeah, just maybe this will help everyone. So if, you know, all you need is a private key and a public key. Now, once you have that private key, you can copy it to any machine and you can use it, right? So it doesn't matter where it's generated. Normally, it is in principle, it is, it should be fine. You can use it. Because it, these are random, just to really give you a context, just the private key is just a random combination of something. You know, it, it's a random number. You could have just generated one, two, three, four, five. Of course, that's not secure. That's why it's not generated that way. And the public key is generated from that random string using some mathematical formula that is generated, right? So nothing got to do with the machine. Um, it's so there is slightly if there is anything got to do with the machine, it's the random number generation and all that, you know. But that that won't affect for almost all cases. So once you have generated from anywhere, whether it's Linux or Windows, then you can copy that private key and use it anywhere. And in, in that case, it should work. Okay. So you should not be afraid. And if you really don't want that convenience and you want to generate two keys, one for in Windows and one for Linux, you can also add that one in your, um, like in your, when you are filling the form and we will take care of that. But it should not be just that scary. It's really like I think this thing you should get used to it. It's it's not it's just a it's not that difficult. And so I hope that answers your question. You can generate from anywhere, like one SSH key, and you can use it um, in whichever platform you are using. Just copy it in a flash disk, and then maybe just you know when you are if you if the machines are different, you can transfer that or you can copy the private key, send you the private key into your WhatsApp or Telegram, whatever thing, and then just again, you know, transfer it. So how you transfer, it's just like transfer it, just like any other file. Of course, it's a security. So it's this, you know, you, you should take care of like the same as you take care of your password. Okay, thank you so much. That answers my question. Okay. All right, uh, we can progress to Michael. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday was good. We had an hour meeting in our team. Then we we divide the, our tasks. So uh, my, I have two questions. My question first, so do we get the, the private key or are we still waiting? I'm confused now. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, well, the, the uh, private explaining. key you generate. The private key you generate. So, and then you fill the form. If you fill the form, that means you have the private key. You send me the the public key. And now, for example, group one machine is up. I'm just gonna. We're gonna just test uh, with them, just for the sake of like that everybody understands. I mean, I will. I will send, and then it's a matter of just everybody will have access. So the and then the way that you will use there will be an instruction. If it's not already shared, we will share an instruction how to connect. So the private key is your key. We don't have access to. It. So that's why you generated 
a private key and a public key and you filled when you filled the form you sent us uh, the public key does that, does that make sense so so we, we send the public key to the in the form we fill the, the form with our exactly. public key but we keep the private key to ourselves yes because the private key is basically the password um and the public key is it just it's, it's it's like in the database sense it is registering some transformed quant form of something into the database so that part even if anyone has it it's fine they won't they won't know your your private key so the private key you whatever you are connecting whether it's in blockchain or in any other security system the private key that is used to sign any transaction in this case it is the login transaction and the ssh protocol will know that it is you who sent earlier that public key therefore it will let you in so the private key you keep and if anyone has that private key that's it it's just like a password they can log in and there's no extra layer of verification unless of course you have a passphrase but in this case just so that it's convenient for you, it's not you're not typing all the time. Don't don't use that much uh, passphrase. If you use, it's fine. Just uh, for convenience, even if you don't use, already SSH is secure. Even if you don't use a passphrase, if you just pass the passphrase, then it's fine. Okay, thank you. And the second question is, uh, I, I think many of us try to fetch the data from telegram but the uh, api is not working so if anyone can explain thank you um michael is it the same issue with as abebes yes okay uh can okay, you share so also the Okay, Martina, you can go ahead. Yeah, so um, it seems like uh, have many of you faced the same problem? Can you like show me by like by like a reaction, like how many of you tried to access Telegram and didn't manage to? Uh, anyone else besides Michael? Gavis, do you want to? Okay, right. Yeah, uh, what I was saying is Rahmat posted uh, uh, some uh, medium uh, blog on the Slack, and I tried it, and it was it, it is working to fetch yeah. data from. So it did work. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the people who are facing problem, have you followed the, the instructions that were shared by Rahmat? Yes, but the interaction just says uh, get the uh, API key from Telegram, just in, in, and it puts a URL. So when when we procedure after that, it says uh, error. Uh, I see. So, uh, Jabez, how did it work for you? I'm asking because, like, I, I haven't tried it myself, but, like, um, this, yeah, but it worked for you. How did it? How did you get like the API key? How did you build it? Um, yeah, best you are unmuted, but we can't hear you. Okay, probably it's a technical issue. Okay, yes, so, can you hear me? I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I just uh, use the API key from the Telegram. Uh, then uh, I, I was getting a, a message uh, from a Telegram post. I see. 
Uh, I I didn't do anything different. I just uh, follow the post, the blog. Yeah, I don't know them. Maybe like uh, what Michael and the others are facing is like uh, they're confused about something. So maybe like because like we are, I think, um, we're coming to the end of the stand up. If you can post this, like you can start a thread, uh, maybe under the, the the medium blog that was shared by Rahmat, you can start a blog like uh, stating exactly what is your point of confusion. So that like, uh, because it worked for other people, it, it's possible, so it's going to be solved. So just like post where you are facing an issue exactly uh, on Slack and, and let's continue this discussion there. Um, okay. Now it's yeah. working, but uh, so we used Chrome. So I, I tried to do this Opera search engine. It's working. Yeah. So I think the authentication, it's yeah. either Fire, Firefox or uh, Chrome, it's not working, but in the Opera it's working. So they okay. can use uh, Opera. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, uh, who, who was the, okay, so, so I, I will, I will see this is like, uh, uh, who's the other person who was facing a problem? Um, uh, Kitacho. So maybe you can try this as well and see if it will solve it for the issue for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Kitacho. Um, right. Um, so, any other questions? We can move on. Milako? Can go ahead. Hello. Uh, yeah. Sorry. So, uh, I I just want to give a quick update on my progress on my project. Sorry about my voice. So, uh, I, I missed our meeting yesterday, our group meeting. I'm sorry about that. Uh, to my teammates so I, I was trying to uh, progress on the project uh, with myself until I met my teammates today so I tried to scrap data from a news website uh, from bbc.com Amharic but I, I'm uh, I was able to pull data from there and put it in a Postgres database but I was confused about what kind of data are we supposed to pull from the new site? So should we uh, pull everything in the website to our Postgres or should we select data from there? Thank you. Okay, so when it comes to the data you want to collect, um, okay, so we, ha we want to collect um, text or audio, right? So uh, what you get from the news uh, website will be articles, like you can collect the, the whole article. When you web scrapping, of course, you might not uh, get the, the clean text, um, the complete clean text directly. So the first step will, will be you're going to be getting raw and maybe unclean. So we might be getting like, um, uh, like is in a set, uh, in a, uh, in addition to the text that you want you're also getting like other elements that are like uh, not uh, relevant and this uh, you have to get rid of them in the next step of the cleaning data so in the first step of getting uh, the data itself it, it doesn't matter it or it's okay if it's not clean or if you are getting some irrelevant information as long as you're going to clean and get rid of them later on but in the end, what you want is either you, you want to get audio or um, text in, in Amharic or uh, audio in Amharic as well with transcription if possible. And if not, uh, you can just get audio. Um, what you want to get is uh, like quality. So um, well written, maybe well written or representative or whatever. So and diverse. So, like uh, getting like a multitude of uh, like uh, subjects from from the language. So yeah, a website is and uh, sorry, and a news a news site is uh, suitable for that. Like, but you ha you have to get also other sources, other sources as well. Uh, 
but yeah, so that's what the, does this answer your question, Marco? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. Um, anyone else? Any other questions before we end up this we end this stand up? Yes, Sheila. Um, hi, I'm really sorry, but I have another question. So now I have tried creating my, I've tried creating the public and the private key, and I've successfully created my private key. But the problem is the public key, um, it's coming as a Microsoft publisher document, and I can't open it. Like when I try opening it, it's saying this document can't be opened. Has it, has there been anyone who's experienced this problem? Like, and how they, are able to solve it because like that's the key i need to post just the, on the google sheet thank you or the google terminal yeah. shayla just open it with terminal don't use just i think use either terminal or just not put something that doesn't recognize the the extension it's just a text file just use cut or some form just to open you know, don't just click. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I've opened it with Notepad. Just, yeah, try it now, and then I think it should just work. Like, I mean, almost always, I think I, I would expect everyone here to be able to be, in this case, to understand what actually five documents in a computer are right it's like in a way it's the mindset should be that what actually is it right is it um is it a text file everything is a text file in principle except it contains zeros and ones which is in this case a binary or or just a text file with some extension and many applications of course depend on the extension in that case, of course, they would be more telling you this or that. But you should have a feeling for what it is of the document, especially if you are generating them. So in this case, it's just as a text file. And if you don't have any opener, anything that opens, fine. Just go to terminal and just open cut or lace. You know, and, and it should be basic understanding of shell must be um, you know, mandatory for, for everyone. Okay, um, so the contents of that file are what I'm supposed to post on the Google Sheet. On the, yeah. Yes, copy everything from the content of that file and put it where it requires a key. Okay, thank you so much. All right, uh, do we have any other question before we close? Yes, Derek. Okay, good morning, everyone. So you said the, uh, it was good, but I wasn't meet with my team because uh, the power is gone at the time of meeting and uh, but after that, I'm trying to just catch up with uh, what they were discussed. And uh, I started scrapping some data sets. And uh, then I'm just so, you know, just it is obvious the, the data we are going to scrap contain just the content of articles or news. So, Maybe are you going to just include some, some title or maybe other things on, on our columns, columns or, or maybe it is, it should contain only the content of uh, the articles. Hello. Yes, uh, yes, Dirige. So uh, say again, so the last part I, I kind of missed it. So just for example, I am trying to scrap the articles. Uh, so the article content just like title of uh, articles as well as content or body. So when I'm trying to just scrap uh, on columns, so 
I'm going to have a title as well as content. Yeah. Or just um, only the content part. Uh, okay. So, uh, like, so I just meant uh, maybe the more four, but like, I can include the art as a title with the article, like, uh, together is in one in one the document. It's like uh, that will make sense to just have the whole text together. Um, I mean, you have to think that, uh, like, uh, what is the end goal? How this data set is going to be used in the end? There are multiple. NLP um, at training purposes. So like um, getting the whole text will make sense with the title. So um, I think she can just like put them together. I don't know. Why are you thinking that we should like uh, separate them or like not include the title? Is it harder to get the title or? No, I'm trying to just uh, include with title. Oh. Yeah. That will make sense to have the title okay. included. Yes. Okay. Any more questions? All right. If there are no any other questions, then uh, we can call it a meeting and enjoy the rest of our days by attending on time. Just, just one, session just one. I, am, I am sharing mm -hmm. in the challenge document on top of like where you have like the group names written, there's gonna be a document on how you can access the machine for every, basically there is a document and in the same directory where the challenge document is the file on how to access your machine. I will also share it on um, Slack, just make sure Make sure that at least for the next now, immediately group one can connect, but in the next 30 minutes, probably everyone can connect. So just everyone who shared uh, already yesterday or let's say this morning, before this morning, anyone who shared their public keys um, are able to connect their respective mach group machines. So just check it out. And and who, what about sorry Yababol? What about the people who just filled their form, or are going they, to? They will have to wait. We will announce just, okay. just as uh, yeah. So because the keys are added when the when their names are created, we will let them know. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, I think we can as uh, end uh, this stand up at this point um, and see you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you everyone Good. for joining.